in this video we are going to talk about how to create files and directories and then how to delete files and directories. So, we will be discussing four commands touch, mkdir, rm and rmdir. The first command is touch, touch is used to update the timestamp, the file timestamp. What do you mean by updating the file timestamp is whatever is the time or date associated with the file when it was last modified. So, we are going to update that with the touch command, but an alternate use of touch command is also to create a new file. So, what happens is if you try to update the timestamp of a entry which can be a file or a directory, if it does not exist that is it is neither a file nor a directory in the system then touch is going to create a new file for that particular name. The touch command is used to update the timestamp of the file. Now, what do you mean by the timestamp of a file? So, let us suppose that I long list one of the files or a directory does not matter whichever you use. So, let me use a LD because documents is a directory. So, if you look here, the timestamp is 15 June 2023. Now, if I use touch documents and I relist the details about the documents directory, you can see that the timestamp has been updated to the current system time. You can check that with date, today is 15th June, 15th June and the current time is also displayed. The same is possible for files also. So, Suppose now I long list a file date 192. You can again see the timestamp is June 7, July 7. If I touch date 192, long list it again, you can see that the timestamp is again changed to the current date and time. So, this is the primary use of touch command, but an alternate use of touch is to create files. So, what happens is, let us suppose I write touch and linux.txt. Now, if this linux.txt is neither a file nor a directory in the system, then a new file with the current date and time, the current timestamp is created. So, we can see in the above output, there is no entry as linux.txt. There is a file linux, but linux and linux.txt are different. So, enter ls again and you can see now linux.txt is also there. If I long list, this is the current timestamp that is associated. Now, there are few options that you can use with the touch command. So, you can open the manual page. Minus C is an important one which does not create new files. So, if the entry does not exist and you do not want to create a new file, then you can use touch minus C option. The next command is mkdir. mkdir is used to create new directories. So, we write mkdir and then you can give the directory names that suppose dir1, dir2. So, you can give n number of names here. All of these will be created dir1, dir2, dir3. We can see all of them are created just now. So, you can pass n number of names. An important option with mkdir is minus p. Now, minus p is used to create hierarchy of directories. Hierarchy means, let us suppose, I want to create a directory aa, then inside aa, I want a directory bb, inside bb, I want a directory cc, and none of them exist. And none of them exist. So, the generic way will be that you first create AA, then you create inside AA, you create BB, and then inside BB, you create CC. Sorry, MKDIR. So, it takes a little bit of time, right? The alternate would have been I simply used minus p option and then give three directories whose three, two, four, whatever number of directories 
for which you want to create a hierarchy. So I'll use different names this time. So this will create all the three levels at once. You can check. So inside AAA there is BBB. Inside BBB there is CCC. So minus P is used to create hierarchy of directories. Now once we have created files, we might want to delete them. So to delete or to remove the files, the command is RM. With RM, you can delete one or multiple files by passing the names as arguments to the command. So here are a list of files. Let's suppose I want to delete F2 ls. Now you can see that F2 is deleted. There is no entry here. I can use RM to delete multiple files at once. So Linux.txt mac mjc and all of these are deleted. The last command for today is rmdir. rmdir is used to delete empty directories. It's important to remember and I'll show you also that rmdir will only delete empty directories. In case you want to delete non-empty directories then the command will be rm minus r. We'll see this how to do it in practical also. So let us try to remove few directories here rmdir and then let us suppose I want to delete d8. So it deletes the d8 directory. You can see d8 entry is not there now. There is one limitation of rmdir. Let us suppose I want to delete a a directory which we just created earlier. We will get an error which shows that directory not empty. So there is a limitation of rmdir. The limitation is rmdir can be used to delete only empty directories. Since AA has got another directory, so I can't delete AA with RMDIR. So what is the option? In this case, we'll use the RM command with minus R option. Minus R means delete recursively. So RM minus R and then the name of the directory. And now you can see there is no error and AA directory is deleted. It is no more there. So although rm is to delete the files, but rm minus r option will be used to delete non-empty directories. So that's all for this video. Up next, we are going to talk about cd, cp, mv and the cat command.